my review on the Turbocock. For those of you that might have joined late or think that I was trolling, this case legitimately says Turbocock on the front. This is the COC contact case, but for some reason they have Turbocock all over the box and on the front panel. No idea what they were thinking. This is a UK based company. I feel like it's a, a, a troll, um, but regardless, this was a magnificent case to work on. Now, we did have some issues there right at the end with the RGB control. It does have a very, very nice five port fan hub in the back for both your fan and your three pin ARGB control right here. You can either uh, power it via, via SATA and change the colors on the top or you can plug in a three pin ARGB cable to plug into your motherboard and have complete control that way. If you do the, the SATA power and use the, the buttons on the case, what I just went through, I don't know what happened, but I did not have full complete control over the colors of the build. I don't know if I was doing something wrong or what, but uh, it was definitely not intuitive. I couldn't get the static colors to properly cycle through. Definitely something, if you're gonna use the Turbocock, unless if we figure out something in the future, I would definitely recommend you just using motherboard RGB control. Regardless of that though, $65 case for full ATX. We got the bottom PSU shroud. We don't have a cutout here for the GPU power connectors. Not a huge deal. Definitely just a personal preference here. We do have room for a radiator up at the top. A little bit more room than I initially expected, but plenty of room for the fan layouts and whatnot. It does come with two RGB fans, one in the front that shines through perfectly through this like super aesthetic, aggressive triangular design on the front. And then it comes with the rear uh, RGB fan. I don't think you need to add any extra fans. You definitely could if you want, but for a PC flip, uh, this is this would be perfectly fine. And for $65, you're getting a ton of value with that. Now, where the Turbocock really shined, in my opinion, is the back panel. So we, we got a lot of interesting things back here. We do have what they call a motherboard fan here, which intakes air from the back panel, which by the way, does have a vent and a removable magnetic uh, dust cover there, which apparently cools the VRMs from the back. I don't know if that's actually effective or whatnot. Very interesting concept. The cable management on here is super, super easy to work with. We have a very deep channel here with pre-installed Velcro straps, which is like someone like me that doesn't take cable management in the back seriously. This is amazing. You can just stuff all the cable extensions, all your wire bundles, back here you don't need any zip ties it's amazing we also have the nzxt style of cable routing channels up here which was nice for my eight pin or any like radiator fans or whatever you have going above the argb fan hub back here and then of course we got some 2.5 inch hard drive or ssd trays we also have a two 3.5 inch hard drive tray up here but the weird thing is in order to get to your 3.5 inch hard drives, you actually remove them from the front. It's not necessarily a negative, but the sleds for the 3.5 inch drives are up here at the front, which is a little bizarre. I, I think it's it's kind of neat, interesting. The, the Turbocock also comes in at the same $65 price point, multiple colorways I already ordered or we already have in the studio, the red and black version. There were a couple other versions to use. I really like this white and black one. I think there's an all black one as well. For $65, guys, I'm definitely, definitely gonna be using uh, this one again, uh, especially for PC flips. I'm super happy with it, man. I don't have anything negative to say other than the RGB issue, which we had, which can be completely remedi remediated with uh, plugging it into your motherboard and controlling the RGBs that way or getting an extra adapter, which is what I did. But that is gonna be my quick review of the Turbocock. Very, very turbo, 10 out of 10, or nine out of 10. Would definitely use again at the $65 price point for sure. Really like that. This is a gem. This might be the case of the decade here. Is everyone as excited as I am? Maybe it's because I'm feminine. The only thing I ask from you guys is don't make all these Twitch clips of me saying Turbocock. Turbocock, ladies and gentlemen. Turbocock is indeed pretty turbo, yeah. Turbocock engaged, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just saying the word cock. Don't clip that.